Welcome back to the Urshilaku camp. Is that we were supposed to come back here when I got the lost prophecies, and I figured I'd spare you guys the trip since we've done it a few times now. Although, I damn if I'm not faster now. The wise woman's ear. Weren't you who I wanted to talk to when I got the lost prophecies? You have the lost prophecies. You will tell me these things over and over until I have them by heart, and then you will tell me what these priests say. What they see in these words, and then you must leave me, hunt, sleep, train, feed, learn the land. I must bring these things into me, and place them before my ancestors, and listen to them, and to the skies and stars of my dreams, and then, when the moons have come and gone, return, and I will give you my judgment. Okay. You have told me of these lost prophecies. I'm just supposed to wait for a long time now? Huh. When the moons have come and gone... That could be a long time. I think that's the game basically screaming at you, Go do side quests! This next good part's to gonna see. expect you to be higher level! But I've already done a lot of side quests, so I think I'm good. <laughs> so... I might just go out of town and wait a lot? Unless I want to go fight some Daedric Ruins and get the more... Overly expensive gear to turn around with. Ow. My jumping does a lot of damage to me. It's a good thing that I have, uh... Largely made it safe for me to do so. Interrupting monster. Get out of here. What do you have for me? Eh. Decently valuable, I suppose. Sure. Alright, well, I waited for over 24 hours. She seemed to be indicating a more dramatic amount of time than that, saying moons, plural, have come and gone, but I might as well try. Since it's, since her, her description of time passaging is big. Oh, she's ready already, in like one day. That's not really what she was saying, but sure. I am ready to give you my judgment. The ancestors and stars have given me clear signs. The lost prophecies leave no doubt. The incarnate shall be an outlander, you. Blessed by Azura, must lift the seven curses of Dagoth Ur. Prophecy has shown the, se the seven steps of the Nerevurian's path, and I have been chosen as your guide for each step on the path. I will read the signs and show you the way. It is time for you to walk the path of the seven visions and pass the seven trials of the seven visions. You are born on a certain day to uncertain parents. You have passed the first trial. My dreams show me that you also fulfill the second trial, that neither blight nor age can harm him. The curse of flesh before him flies. I have read the signs, but I can't understand. Can you explain this to me? Tell how I got corpus disease and was cured! That you have overcome the curse of flesh is strange enough, but that, you should, but that it should protect you from blight and age is past belief. Yet the signs of my dreams are clear. You have passed the second trial. But the third trial is unfulfilled. The mystery of the third trial is not my secret to share. Go to Sulmatul, the guardian of our cult, and he shall tell you of the third trial. When you have fulfilled the third trial, return to me for guidance on our your next step to the path of the Nerevarin. We're getting a, assuming we don't die in the process of doing this quest. We're off we're off to a pretty good start here with this whole like immortality we've apparently gained. Due to, the, due to the cure. Sulmatul. You wish to know about the third trial and I shall tell you. You have entered the path of the Nera Varin. This is the, a hard thing to believe, but Nibasi Mesa has spoken to me at length about this. And I have had time to consider. Therefore, I shall keep my own counsel and set before you my own test. I do not dispute with the wise woman, but their ways are not the ways of the warrior. Many pe many before have tried the path of the Nerevarine, but all have failed the warrior's test. You must have strength, courage, and cunning. These things I would test. Nearby lies Kogarun, the ancient halls of the Forgotten House, House Dagoth. In recent time, creatures of the Blight have come to dwell there. I myself went to there with some brave hunters and came back again. But it was a bad place, and I am not ashamed to say I was afraid. For myself and my men, if you would have me, if you would have for me the secret of the third trial, the caverns dark where Azura's eyes sees, you will be fir you will first bring me the three tokens of the dark Kokorun. 
The first token is corpus weepings from a corpus beast to show that you are pr are proof against the disease's corruption. The second token is a cup with the mark of House Dagoth. For I have myself seen such cups there and will know you have seen with your eyes what I have seen with mine. The third token is the shadow shield which lies in the tomb of Dagoth Morin in the lava tunnels deep beneath the ruined Kogarun. Bring these things to me and then I will tell you the secret of the third test. I already have the weepings, for starters, but not the other things. Kogorun was a ancient Dunmer stronghold. Here, let me mark it on your map. Go by day, in good weather, or you may miss your way. Follow the coast east from Urshulaku camp to the ruined Dunmer stronghold called Valenverion. Then turn southwest. You'll see Ebernanit, a ruined Daedric shrine. Continue south from Ebernanit to Kogarun, a great temple of stone with many ruined buildings. There are many rooms, and the passages are old and deep. Beneath are caves with pools of fire. It is a bad place. Go prepared. Kogarun. Haven't I been there before? Is it that place? Kogarun. Well, it's on my map. That's the main thing that I need, really. Let's see, I've got some stuff in my inventory. We do have a really- we're really good on inventory right now. I, more than half of it is empty. But if I- uh, these are only like 1.8 each? Alright, never mind then. It's the Tontos that weigh a lot. Yeah, I have a lot of garbage in my inventory that I probably should clear out. But I'd rather not leave it anywhere until I get a chance to sell it. I- it, I think I could just leave it on the floor, technically. But I don't- know if I'm really into that idea. Ultimately, I don't know how how much we'll constantly need money after my initial progress with that kind of stuff. But I've never been here before, but it is on my map, so that makes it pretty straightforward. I don't need the directions as much at that point. I know how to orient myself on a map. Thankfully, this Khajiit has that magical sense that keeps the map on where he always knows exactly where he is on the map. It doesn't have to locate himself. Well, that's a neat skill. Is that it? No. Oop, there goes my acrobatic skill. I beat it into me. Whatever this place is, it might... I assume it's defended or something? Ah, go away. Guess who can't hurt me with anything, really. But mostly not disease. Ow. Yep, that... I preemptively said ow out of habit at that point. Uh... Not only can they not hurt- they can't kill me because of the whole fast hit point regeneration thing, but they also can't disease me anymore, which is the, probably the best part. There's so many things in the bottom right corner now. I guess that's why the icons are so small. Well, I guess they used to be bigger, didn't they? Didn't I scale them up or something? Oh wait, no, that scaling up would mean they were smaller before, actually. Well, here we are. The question is just how nasty are the locals, or are they just more of the same? Rats! They'll never take me alive. Feral Sal... Salman's corpse? Hair shirt of Saint Aralor. So when you use it, it damages you. But it resists magicka and shock and health. Hmm. It damages you a little bit for a moment, 2 to 6, but it restores 2 health for, uh, per second for 30 seconds, which is pretty good healing overall. I currently am wearing the shirt that gives me Fortify Sneak. I don't know if I'd ever wear it. Could sell it, I suppose, but part of me is just like, ooh, interesting trinket, might as well grab it, right? Does the indoor yield sit? It's all medium. Valuable, though, huh? Kind of heavy, but still valuable. Indoreal shield. That's 2,000 for 13. I suppose I might as well grab the entire set for now. And I can deal with the... Ah, don't do that. I can deal with my inventory problems as we go. Just shamelessly looting all of the clothes off of 
random corpses I find. There we go. Listen. RPG protagonists are nothing if not incredibly respectful. What? Put your clothes on. Why aren't you wearing clothes? Large wrap corpus meat. Yeah. Do I have my corpus weepings, right? Or did, I, or did I sell those already? Oh, I did sell them. Well, I don't have corpus corpus me, uh, weepings then. I'm gonna have to get new ones. Whoa, spooky ghost! Spooky dead ghost. Ectoplasm. Spooky ectoplasm. Spooktoplasm. Alright, let's just start trying doors. The Pollux Eye. Hi! You have any friends? Dagoth Gitaro. Great personality amulet again. I mean, I can sell them off. House Dagoth Cup. Huh. I wonder if I can translate that or something. Curious. Oh, Corpus Weepings. That's two of the things already. What was the third thing? Corpus Weepings, cup with the mark of House Dagoth, and the Shadow Shield, which lies in the tomb of Dagoth Morin. Okay. Well, I have two of the three things. That was fast. Hi. I might as well just kill the people in every room just to be safe, right? Yeah, everyone has a sixth house, house amulet, which seems not useful to me. The dreamer is awake. Everyone's telling me that lately. Message received, guys. You can stop telling me. Alright, well, that's all that's in here. Are all of these rooms just one room? Maybe. Ow, my health. Well, I gotta give it to them. They're, they're more durable than the, uh... The, all the, uh, riders that are flying around all the time. The cliff racers, I mean. So we have a ritual bell situation going on here again. What would happen if I hit it? Nothing. Whoop. Well, that's a freaky sight. Oops. I bet if I knew the, uh, rhythm, I could probably do something with that. I wouldn't be surprised if there's an actual, like, pattern to learn. This last one? Oh, this one looks like an actual dungeon. Hey, athletics are up. Corpus! Now he's just a corpses. <laughs> I'm an idiot that says stupid things. Hi. Really shouldn't have struck that battle stance right there. I'm gonna make so much money off of these cult amulets that aren't incriminating to me at all. Parchment with scrawlings. All cries are waking. Whitest white of all white, blackest blacks of all blacks. Shame and sun, sun and shadow, stronger than gods, brighter than mortals. Only he is awake, only he is alive. He knows the names of the naming. He knows the wait and the waiting. He enters into every star and moon. He shines through their shadows. One shape, one spelling, one wraith, one casting. From darkness he is armed, from light he is warded. He is all things Drake, Lich, Theoman. On rivers of fire he comes forth. Through storms of dreams he rides with sil slivers of steel he pierces the heart. All spells, powers, curses broken. The chains are shattered, the scales fall away. I see you with my eye. And all with silence. I wake, I remember. Lord. I'm gonna take that. And not that, because it's worth 14 gold. The disappointing Tonto is what that is. And there's a... Okay. There's some very innocent tools in this room compared to what's going on with the actual, like, creepy cult stuff going on. 
Huh. Well, I'm grabbing that because it might be useful. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Boom! Critical damage. Oh yeah. I'll take it. I'll take all the things. That's not a door I can use, huh? There's an up door and a down door, apparently. I would expect the down door to be where I want to go for a tomb, usually, but who knows. I mean, pyramids were above ground, I guess. I'm in sneaky mode. That's just a door. Oh, hi. Your weapon has no effect. Welp, I tried. How's that weapon for having effect? Ah, it went inside of him. I can retrieve and use it again, apparently. I'm sure it's just as effective now. This seems to actually go places. I'm get, I get the feeling that, by, com by contrast, this might be more of a dead end. Try my bone mold longbow. Boom! Dead. Just on the spot. Neat. You are slave no more. Gross. Who wants hound meat? Standard fortify endurance. Yeah, it's worth something. Oh, there's arrows in here? Yep. Creepy altar thing. Annotated annuad. All right. Are you a normal? You're also a door. Huh. Locked. 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 All right. Uh, there we go. Unequipped the uh, actual bow shot. Hey, security's up now. Shit. Now what I meant to do. Ooh, look who's wearing glass. Even more glass than I had before, I think. I want more glass. Huh. All the rooms just have dead people in them. More lockpicking gear, another ash statue, and the entire chitin set. Ooh, ebony short sword, mine. Watch the trick be that if you go, they're probably sacrifices of some kind. But what if the surprise was that, like, if you go in there and take their stuff, you get locked in too? Well, the lock was crappy though, so I'd be able to get back out regardless, even if it was a trap like that. Raw ebony. Sure. Grab that. Got the Nordic set, so... A few potions. Ash salts. And some expensive gloves, and that's about it. You can keep the rest, I think. Glass Halberd, 16,000. Yes. And how about the rest of you? Glass Shield. That's 113 defense rating. I've got a Glass Tower Shield, though. Yeah. Still valuable. Grab that. Glass Curious has 113 armor, so I've got... Yeah, I've got that beat. Never needed my Glass Curious. I just skipped that entire tier. But it's valuable, so I'll take it. Netch boots. How do you get a glass curious and shield? Are you still wearing Netch leather for the rest of your gear? Maybe that's why he died. Third to 100 fury, long blade, two hand. Eh? It's sellable. It's pretty heavy, though. It's probably one of the first things I'd get rid of if my inventory started getting filled up. Uh, how's it compare to... Might get... The, the boots aren't very good, either. That's some of the stuff that'll be first to go. 
Don't know how long this will be, though. Doesn't seem like the biggest dungeon so far, just with how quickly I got my other objectives, but we'll see. We will see. Glad I came back. Let's take a look at that. Hello, weird Satan symbol. You do you, buddy. Once I'm in shooty mode with this thing, I keep reflexively wanting to press the, uh, a reload button. Which is just a concept that doesn't necessarily apply. Oh, it's just a flame atronach. I might be able to sneak up on him. Sneaky, 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 and boom! Heh. <laughs> you for- Some of you guys forgot I was actually a rogue, huh? I feel like my- my stealthing wasn't always such a good option, but now it's like... Stuff just dies instantly. I like- I like how the battle music starts for like one second and then it's like, oh right, the fight's over. Oh, that's used up. That's fine, I got more though. Man, that would suck if it uh, if it mapped a specific item to that hotkey as opposed to the category of item. It's all it's already stuck on one quality level, but at least it's not literally one thing. I'm slightly worried going through the waterway might in some way be too, going too far away from my goal. There's an ice atronach. This is definitely familiar. It looks just like the stuff that's under Vivek. It might be functionally the same location, even. That probably doesn't even hurt them, does it? That's the problem with using that kind of weapon. Hi. Murder, 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 murder. I'll take everything you got. I assume I can't get through here. Nope. Not passable. Hi. How do you- Oh! He's zapping me. He's zapping me. Hey, Ice Man. Are you played from Jake by Jake from Animorphs too? <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going now. This isn't even near the water anymore. Uh, looks like that takes me back. Oh, underwater, huh? Can I surface? Okay, so don't have to worry about drowning here. That's the other flame, the other ice one, so I just did a giant loop. For no real good reason. Oh well. More stuff for my inventory. Do I have any hammers on me? No, because my stuff's starting to break. This isn't the best news. Can I clear this jump now? Yep. The answer's yes. Jeez. Pretty neat. Not really in a hurry to go underwater again, though. Hi. Oh, that's all you got? Well, I'll take your salts, you weird floating head monster. Moon sugar. Why not? More moon sugar. I'll find someone willing to buy that crap. Just a big old stack at this point. Alright, well that's a dead end. And that's- that, that goes nowhere. They give me a ramp, just in case I get stuck. But this is the only place left to check, I guess. So either this takes me where I want to go, or this entire thing was a fool's error, and then I should have gone somewhere else entirely. There might have been a mistake to even enter the... 
I don't know if it was a good idea to enter these vault, these uh, waterways or not. Oh, there's a spooky cave over here. That could be a good sign. Did it say Karma's Breath? Kinda. Or Charma's Breath. Depending on pronunciation. Oh, you're alive. Thought the first two were enough. Definitely starting to use the same caves a lot around here. This is looking like a f really familiar location, despite the fact that it's not. Listen, I just want a shadow shield. I, I, you, don't, I, you don't need to die. Oops. You died. Okay, we're in the flame pools now. That's a good sign. They talked about the flame pools when we talked about the shield. So I'm probably on the right track right now. I really wish I still had the ability to level up my short blade skill with these attacks. Just because there's that part where you inherently want- you think of it in terms of it adding up to something, so knowing that it no longer adds up to anything is like, oh, Shadow Shield. Hey. Invisibility for 20 seconds on self. Four armor rating, so it's not a good shield, and it- oh, it's because it's heavy. And I have no skill in heavy shields. Well, that's my objective. There we go. My concerns were ill-founded. Orc Warhammer. Kind of garbage. Yeah, super heavy. Corpus Meat Hunk. Pick one of those again. Yeah, the, uh, the Warhammer is super heavy for its value, so I'm not gonna grab that. Might be more cool stuff down here, though. Frost Assaults. Master's Lockpick, yes. Daedric Right Gauntlet and Left Gauntlet. Alright. Well, there's all these super epic, uh, high-quality pieces of gear, and then they're all like, here it- ooh. Exclusive Potion of Swift Swim. Huh. There's all these really expensive, cool gear, and then it's like, here's a cheap potion. I'm like, huh? Huh. Really? Just a weird contrast. Honestly. These guys are creepy. I think that's more or less it. Blah. I'm tempted to just use a scroll to get out of here. Intervention type thing. But my concern is, uh, uh oh. My concern is... I have no idea where it would take me, honestly. And I think it'd be significantly further away than just walking back. Although it would remove the complication of having to get back on foot out of this, uh... Tomb. Is this... Na re navigating my exit might take a little while, but once I'm on the surface, it's a uh, short enough exit. Um, can I make sense of where I am right now? Oh, well, I've been, never never been here. It's good for finding loot, bad for finding my exit. <laughs> there might be something up there. So many valuable amulets. Assuming I can find someone who actually will buy them. Oh, spooky ghost. Just a whole lot of bone meal. <laughs> I don't know why I keep getting that sound every now and then. That rustling noise that sounds like I'm turning pages or opening or looting something, I guess. Nope. I was gonna check out what the negative effect was, but it went away too fast. Whoa! Look at that guy! Oh! Uh oh. Nope. I know what you do. You hurt my stats? Last time I saw one of you, I had to, like, leave and quit because you screwed up my stats. Whoa, look at this guy. He's crazy. Look who's crazy. Dagoth Uthol. The belt of hearthfire. Its value is 20,000. Oh my god. Fortify. Whoa. Oh no, it's fortify health, not gain health, right? Still lots going on there. Valuable. Same crappy amulet as always. 
like the equivalent of a boss fight, right? Or a mid-boss? Having a character like that, he seemed kind of specific and important. Hit. Danger. I mean, it's I'm tr my goal was to leave, but I can't help but want to poke around a little bit in this weird place. I think that's how I leave. But this is the path I didn't try at first. I wonder how instantly I die if I fall in the lava. I'm guessing immediately, but who knows. Maybe it just makes the hilarious thwack noise that happens when you collide. Oh, what? Whoa! Oh, jeez! Huh. Well, that's a surprise. Well, he's not going down easy. So I guess I found my way to the surface, but I seem to be seeing right now what's being held back by all those walls everywhere. It seems like I can hold my own here at the moment, but uh... Oh boy, Cliff Racers need to chill out. <laughs> chill out. Chill out. Nope. Something else attacking me right now? What's going on? The question is, can I leave? Because, like, the walls are all here. I may not be able to leave through these walls, so... While I found an exit that could be used to get behind the wall... If I can't get back out, we're stuck. We're stuck. I mean, they'd probably have to still go back in. Look at this redness, it's insane. Whoa. Things are actually kind of clearing up at the moment. 